Okay, I think I'm back. Maybe. Maybe not. It's showing up as green anyway, so I'll take that as a good sign. Hello? Am I live? Am I in time? Am I in tune? Has anyone joined yet? Let's try again. Uh, back now. Maybe. <laughs> Is it good? I know the camera might be a little bit laggy compared to my voice, but I don't really care about that as long as as long as the game's running okay. I'll do a few jumps around, see whether they look okay. I think Twitch is going weird, because even though you're in the chat, it's saying I haven't got any viewers. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Hopefully people come back. I'm sorry about that weird start there, but sounds good. Okay, in that case, I'll swap the game round onto my main display, and we can start again with some Sonic CD. Let's restart. I wanted to get the um, intro video as well, because this can be the start of the VOD then. And just ignore that last stream. I know it's too quiet. So, game start, Sonic, new game. Seems good. Seems fine, run around. Okay, I think we're all good. I think we're all good. So hopefully people come back. Hopefully it's uh, notified everyone again, because I think when I closed it, I'm not sure whether it actually reset it or not, because I've streamed again so soon. And for some reason it's not updating, because it still says I have no viewers. Um, I'll try and close the app and open it again later. I'm trying to use my iPad to read the chat this time. How's the sound levels as well? Are they okay? Can you hear the awesome Sonic Boom music? I'm not going to sing, I'm not going to embarrass myself. As tempting as that is. Um, and it says my iPad isn't charging. Apparently the switch isn't powerful enough to charge an iPad. It's a light, Let's try plugging it into the table. Yes, that worked. I never thought I would say I'll plug my iPad into the table until this year. But my table now is USB port. Anyway, enjoy this incredible um, introduction video. Like I said before in the previous stream, which no longer exists, um, I first played this on the PC on Windows 95, and the introduction cutscene didn't look anywhere near as good as that. So here we go, level one, Palm Tree Panic, and there's two different soundtracks for this game as well. The soundtrack that you're listening to now is the American one and Sonic CD is a really interesting game because it's not anything like the other three Sonic games. This one originally came out on the Mega CD in 93 I believe or whenever the Mega CD came out and the thing about this Sonic game compared to the other ones this isn't a linear game at all. This is more like the levels are more like mazes which makes for some really interesting design and Oh no, why are you putting an F in the chat? I thought everything's okay now. You're not messing with me, are you? I'm gonna load it back on front of you. Why are you putting an F in the chat? I thought everything's It seems alright. Okay. It seems okay. I've got the stream running on my laptop over there so I can see it. Anyway, what I was saying was, the interesting thing about this game, the levels are mazes for one thing, but also you have these future and past goalposts as well. And the idea is to travel to the past and then F for fine. <laughs> Don't confuse me like that. So the idea is travel to the past. So you go into it and then once you've got to a certain speed like this, then um, you can do a time travel, just like Back to the Future. Apparently Sonic must have been going 88 miles an hour then. So the idea is that you travel back to a past version of the level and of course the music changes the environment changes, some of the layout changes, and then the idea is to explore the stage, which is very unlike all the other Sonic games, and avoid the future goalposts, because that will send you back again. And that's Metal Sonic, we'll get to him later on. But the idea is that when you're in the past, you have to find the robot generator that's sending the robots to the future. And then once you destroy that generator, then you can go to the good future but the thing is, the stages are so big, 
you might end up just exploring in the past for a while until you actually manage to find it. Um, and you also have to worry about going too far into the level as well. And I do not have as much experience with this game as any of the others. So don't expect me to be able to find them all. But here's the first one. So that's what they look like. And then you need to destroy that. And then you've got that sound there. And now because I've picked up the future sign, we want to find somewhere to pick up some speed and then go to the future. And the best thing to do there is to actually go to the future twice. So, oh no, it ran out. So you can see how annoying it gets because even if you stop just slightly before it's ready, then you don't end up going to the future at all. So let's try and find another future post. And usually you try and avoid them, but now future. there's one. So now we've got to try and find somewhere to go fast enough to trigger this. It's a very different style of game, but uh, yeah, once you get used to it, it's really fun. Let's just try and keep going around here and then eventually we'll teleport. There we go. So this won't actually take you to the future of the stage. This will actually take you back to the version of the stage that you just came from. So this is actually the present. And then you need to try and find another one to go to the good future, which we've just created. So you can see why a lot of people don't really like this game compared to some of the other ones, because of the very much more open-ended level design. There's one. So, as long as we don't get hit now, you can stand on... Oh, usually you're able to just stand on them, and that will take you to the future as well. I think it's because I was holding right, it didn't work. So let's try and find another one. But yeah, you can see why some people don't really like this as much as some of the other Sonic games. I think that's the end of the... Oh no, it's not the end of the stage. I always thought this bit was really cool. So you can also hold up and jump to do this super peel out move as well. And then Sonic does that kind of 3D animation. So you don't want to go back to the past now because we've already done the past. Uh, I thought there was a jumping thing there. I'm not sure what getting 100 rings does in this version of the game because in this anniversary version there's no lives. And as you can see there, that's the destroyed generator that we just destroyed. Uh, but maybe I've missed it. There should be another... No, we've reached, the, we've reached the end now, so I can't show you the good future for this one. There's Amy's first appearance, by the way. And, of course, she's already in love with Sonic. But she doesn't seem to follow you any further than that, for some reason. And now we'll, I'll get to show you the really cool special stage, too. And it's been much improved for this version of the game as well. This is the version of the soundtrack that I grew up with. Some people prefer the Japanese version, and it does give you the option to switch between them. So in this special stage, it's kind of a Mode 7 style, and it was a lot more... Um, uh, what's the word? The frame rate wasn't anywhere near this smooth in the original. Um, if you go in the water, your ring count goes down faster. So the idea is to try and stay on the path, keep collecting rings, and try and take out all of the robots. I think they're robots anyway, whatever's floating around here. I'm not entirely sure what they are. It starts off easy enough, but some of the later levels, the, um, the layouts can be quite challenging. But we're doing okay now, there's one more. Uh, sometimes it's difficult to turn around, there's not any easy way of doing it. There we go, that's the first special stage done. And the weird thing about this game, you can either choose... There's two different ways of getting a good ending, basically. You can either choose to go to the past and destroy the generators, or you can choose to collect the time zones, the time stones, by going into these special stages. So you kind of can complete the game in two different ways. And I don't really like that, because I never really know which way to play the game and which way not to play it. So if any of you guys have played Sonic CD before, let me know which of the two methods of getting the good ending you usually go for. I think it's more fun to try and find the... Um, oh, I better, I'll save that for when I've found the past sign. I think it's more fun to try and track down the, the signs like this. Um, let's try here. Oh no, I lost it! I think the idea there is to land back on the spring again, and then you can keep going around in circles that way. So yeah. Let me know what you think is the more interesting way. Would you prefer to play through it like a normal Sonic game? 
or would you prefer to track down the the past sign like that? Ah, it's really frustrating though when you can't keep going uh, long enough to trigger it. Okay, this looks like a good spot. Let's try it from here. Go! No, oh, no, that's not fair. You can see why this game gets really annoying. This is why I've never 100% completed this game. Even if you go that way, you'll still get stuck. And some of the level designs are so chaotic as well. It's just, they just put random things everywhere to get in your way to stop you from being able to do the time travel. Oh, there's one up there. Can I go back in? Uh, maybe. Maybe if we go this way. And then jump. There we go. Right, ready? We can travel this time. Whee! Yeah, I did it. There we go. Uh, so, now we're in the past. Now we've got to try and figure out where the time generator is. And you can see the level design has changed slightly. Uh, and try not to trigger that future one. I have no idea where these um, generators are, but that one was pretty easy to find. That one was right there. And now we've got the future thing. Unfortunately, I can't go back and use the same one I just used. Although, this looks good. That was an easy spot. So now we're traveling back to the future. And then if we find another future one, then we can go to the good future. And in the good future as well, there's no enemies, which is really cool. So you can kind of explore the stage at your leisure then. So, uh, let me go back down here. So there's a future one here. And then if I can figure out a way of getting back into that ramp again. Yep, there we go. So now we'll go to the good future and I can show you what that actually does. I struggle with Sonic mainly because of how non-linear the levels are. Is that Sonic CD in particular or any Sonic game? So this is apparently the good future of Palm Tree Panic. I don't know why there's random pipes everywhere, including random pipes just attached to trees now. Apparently that is what the future we should strive for is just having random pipes everywhere. See what I mean about the level design being a bit chaotic in this one? And obviously you can still see the rings from the other time zones as well. But if you notice all those flowers appearing out of nowhere, they're actually the enemies that triggering the good future actually removed from the level, which is really cool to see. And of course you get some nice remixed music as well. It's crazy the amount of effort that the developers put into this. So basically each stage in the game has four different versions of the level and they all have different uh, music for each bit as well. So I think there's like six or seven zones and each of them have four music tracks and four different, um, four different graphic styles and everything. So the amount of time and effort that must have gone into making this game is just insane. There we go, Sonic made, made a good feature in Zone 2. So if we can do that for every zone, then we'll actually get the good ending. I'm still annoyed that I don't know what was wrong with the stream last time. Why is it saying excellent now? I didn't change anything. Oh yeah, and now because we got the good future in the first two, then this third level will automatically be a good future with all the enemies taken care of already. So that's why there's just animals bouncing everywhere. And if you make it to the end fast enough, you can um, you can just do that and destroy them straight away without them even getting a chance to attack you, which I always really enjoyed. I thought that was so funny back in the day. It's like Eggman put all this effort into this boss and you can literally just stand in front of him and he just dies instantly. And there we go. That is the good future for, for the first act or the first zone in Sonic CD. It is a really good game. It's a misunderstood game, I'd say. I know, Collision Chaos. This is when we get to see Metal Sonic again. I presume he's still here. So if you jump up here, he'll come and kidnap Amy. There he is. Oh no! Get back here! 
You get to race them later on, which is really cool. I don't know why it tries to trick you with those future ones straight away. I don't know why you'd actually want to go to the future before you've made it a good future. Because there's not actually anything to do there. Until after. So you'll always want to try and stop the future one from happening. Because it just takes you further away from the past, which is where you actually, um, where you actually want to be. So I'm being careful now not to go too fast. Else I'll trigger that teleport, which is the one that I don't want to go to. And I forgot... Oh no, it's still doing it. I forgot as well that um, to get the special stage, like Sonic 1, you have to finish the stage with 50 rings, of course. So I'll try and collect some. See the rings there inside the level? That's what I meant about the level designs changing, but the rings are always visible. So if you go there in the past or the future, then there might be slightly different platforms here. Ah! I nearly triggered it then. I want to try and find one that says past. There'll be one somewhere. I wish there was a map when you pause this. That would have been really a really good addition to this version of the game. Because obviously, as you can see, these levels are just insanely uh, big for any Sonic games standard. Like, it is a challenge to try and find your way around. Another future one. It does feel weird playing a Sonic game this slowly as well. And I never used to really like this one, but it's grown on me over the years. So, although I have no memory of like the specific things in the levels like I do with Sonic 1 and 2, so I'm kind of making this up as we go along. I remember that you can go in there to trigger the past thing. It works now. Yay. Thanks for coming back as well. I do appreciate that. And here we are in the past, and now we need to track down the um, robot generator thing. So if we go back this way, that's the thing as well. Sometimes the generator can actually be... Oh, wow, I found it straight away. There it is. I was about to say, sometimes the generators can be behind where you actually trigger it as well. So unlike most Sonic games, you're actually going in both directions too. And now if we want to go to the good future as well, um, we'll want to find one of those future goalposts which were back here that were taunting us earlier. Although I think I've blocked myself off there so we'd better go further up this way. There'll be one somewhere before the end of the stage. It's a bit annoying that to actually get to the good future that you've created you need to do it twice. Um, because that can obviously take a while to find two of them and by that point you're already pretty much at the end of the stage anyway. But there's one. Oh, this is a great one as well. Like you can just keep going around in circles here. Oh, maybe you can't anymore. Or maybe you can in the future. I remember there was one bit where you can just keep going around like that to teleport. Let's see what side it drops me off here. The ceiling might be filled in now. Oh, when I can actually land. Yeah, there we go. So, let's see. No, we don't want the past. There we go. We want the good future. So now we can do this. This is what I was trying to tell you about. And this will take us to the good future. So, here we go. Now we're in a good future, and just like before, all the enemies are dead already. And we have some really nice music too. Although it is a bit weird, like, I can't really tell what's meant to be futuristic about this compared to the other versions of the level. It's just a bit more colourful. Ah, uh, let me down. It's just brighter. Let me out. Some of these level designs, it feels like they were just like, just having fun with the item placement. The springs all over the floor down here. Everywhere. Hey, we got 100 rings. Not that they'll actually do anything. And here's the goal. We can try the special stage again. Special stage two. Slim. Hey old school Slim, how you doing? I've got my iPad with the chat on and it's really small so I might have to keep leaning down there to be able to read this properly. But hey, how you doing? Thanks for dropping by. And you've arrived at a good time because the first time I went live it didn't work properly. So 
so I'm glad I tried again because it's working okay now. And I've been really looking forward to playing Sonic CD, so I'm really glad I did get it working because I wanted to play it on stream. I've actually been playing the mission mode on my own uh, in between these. Oh uh, no, you have to stay out of the water. Like I said before, if you stay in the water, your ring count goes down really fast. And it's not like, um, not like Banjo Pilot where you can still hit the obstacles if you're off the side of the level. Yeah, I got it. There we go. How many rings have I got? 21. Oh yeah, the rings are the countdown timer if you didn't already gather that. There we go, we got it. So that's the second time stone. Are you going to the London Gaming Market? Unfortunately not, and there is a good reason. That is because I decided instead to go to a game shop that I've wanted to check out for a long time, and I actually went there earlier today. So stay tuned next week. I actually took this camera and did a really good tour for them. They actually um, unlocked all of their cabinets and stuff and let me take a, take a long time to basically go around everything in the shop. And I think everyone is going to really enjoy that video. I've put a lot of time into making sure that it looks really good. So hopefully that's worthwhile and the video does well. It was a shop called um, Super Game Shack in Leicester, which is about two hours away from where I am. So I went there earlier today to check it out. And I picked up some really exciting games as well. I only picked up two, but one of them was 150 quid and I didn't want to spend much more than that, considering I've also got another Comic Con coming up in a few weeks. But yeah, I can't wait to show off what I picked up. There was one game that I found that I'd been looking for for years. I think I saw a picture. Yeah, I posted um, I posted something on Twitter and Instagram earlier, so you might have seen it there. But yeah, that video won't be up next week because I've already got tomorrow's one sorted now. But it was really great. I've been meaning to go there for ages. They were they used to be called Game Boy Shack. So you might remember them from the various MCM expos and gaming markets that they've been to in the past. Talking of past, let's see if we can time travel here. That's a good spot to do it. Yay, there we go. And now we have to go and find the generator. Let's try and go in backwards again, because last time I did it, the generator was just behind where I was already. So, oh no, I won't get into the special stage doing that. Have we found another one of those spinny bits? Maybe. Uh, I wish there was a map. I don't want to trigger that. I guess not having the map is kind of fun though, because it makes you explore a bit more. But it'd be nice if there was at least a little pointer to point you in the right direction. Because, um, yeah, I have no idea where I'm meant to be going now. <laughs> That's so weird, like, seeing the rings just disappear into the background. Oh, the animation's a bit broken then. I think it's because I was... I double-tapped jump and it tried to trigger the... Um, drop dash thing. Uh, I don't like you. You're like an easier version of that horrible enemy that I hate from Sonic 2. Is there anything up here? I don't think I can go that far up. Let's go down here a bit. So, how's everyone who's watching? Have you had a good day? I had a day off work today, so that's why I went to the game shop earlier. Oh no! Oh no! Don't! Don't trigger it! Oh no! I'm going back again. I hate that. Sometimes this game can be so frustrating. Ah, uh, it's messed up. I'm going to try and find another past thing. I want to try and play this properly because most of the time I give up trying to find the things and uh, I just end up playing it like a normal Sonic game. But that's not how it's meant to be. Well, luckily at least we got the option to go back again pretty fast. Doing good, thinking about getting a GBA flash cart. I saw that Crix has put some GBA Everdrives back up for sale, so you might want to check that out. I don't know how long they'll still be there, but they might have already gone by the time of recording this. So yeah, go and check out Crix.com, see whether they put any Everdrives back on the store. You might still be in with a chance, or obviously there's the Easy Flash as well. Um, old School says, 
Good day, but no time to play yet. I'll make f make up for it on the weekend. That sounds like a good plan. What are you planning on playing on the weekend? What have you been playing recently? I haven't played anything outside of games for YouTube. There's Metal Sonic again. Let's get rid of him. I don't know what that actually does. Uh, and I have no idea where the generator is either. I feel like I need to... I need to go up more. Now I'm worried about going back to the future again. This is such a convoluted game compared to all the other Sonic games. It's really weird. And um, if you weren't in my stream last time I uh, streamed, last Thursday, I actually said a bit of trivia about the fact that this game was actually made by Sonic Team in Japan, whereas Sonic 2 was actually made by Sega in America instead. So these two games were actually made at the same time by two different teams, and that is why the two of them are so vastly different. Plus the fact that they really wanted to show off the power of the CD technology with this game, hence why it has so many different uh, soundtracks for each stage and why it's all got CD quality audio as well. Which is really cool, like it sounds great. And of course there's two different versions of the soundtrack as well. But I do find it weird just how different this Sonic game is compared to all the other ones. I'm worried I'm going too far into the level now. Might try adding a notification role for podcasts, uploads, and streams. Oh, that, that was a, a DM from my moderator on Discord. If you're watching this, editor, go for it. That would be really useful. Save me having to put the links in there every time. Uh, I think I've blocked myself off. No, and I don't have enough rings to finish the level. Oh. Oh, I think I found something there. Let's see. Will the Super P.I. get me far enough? Oh, not if I do that. Let's stay on this side. Okay, go. And jump. Yes, it worked. I'm free. Let's see if we can at least get 50 rings. But I really want to find the generator. Where is it? Let's try going the other way. What a weird spring. It doesn't take you anywhere. Oh, yeah, that's a weird part of the level as well. There's this, like... Oh, it doesn't move in this in this version of the stage, or in this time period. In the present or the future, this one actually um, spins round like it's on like a what would you call it? Like a spinning disc thing. Uh, where am I meant to go? I have no idea. It's probably higher up. Let's see if we can get higher up into the stage. There's more things to pop up there. It could be up there as long as I don't fall down there. Uh, there's a comment, but I can't read it because it's too far away. I need to get some sort of stand to put my iPad on or get a second screen in front of this one so I can see the chat while I'm playing. Because it's a little bit awkward at the minute. <laughs> I, I was about to ask someone in the chat to read it out to me so I can hear it, but that's not how chat works. I think that would be a nightmare if you could hear everyone. Well, maybe not for me, but for bigger streamers, that would be that would be a nightmare. I know some of them have donation things where you can get them read out. No, 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 no. Oh, that was close. Anyone know where the generator is in this level? I need a stand. What would my stand be? I've seen a little bit of Jojo. I have no idea where I'm meant to go. I'm determined to find it though. And I lost my 50 rings, I had 50 rings. As long as it's not the Windows operator. Microsoft Sam, remember him? Maybe I can hack Siri to read it out to me. In my ear, so no one else hears it. Uh, games for the weekend. Chuck Rock for the SNES, Alex Kidd, Miracle World, and Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition. That is a cool list of games. 
enjoy. Uh, what am I going for the weekend be? I'll try and play something. I was recording ActRaiser, so I'll probably go back to play some more of that for my very, very long-awaited quintet video that I keep saying is nearly ready, and I've been saying that for about six years now at this point. Every time I think I'm ready to make it, I find out more about the company. And I'm really determined to make that the absolute best it can possibly be. I think I've already looked up there. And I don't think the generator... There it is! Yay! I found it! Ah, oh, finally. Now I can actually find somewhere to go and use this future thing. Will this work? If it comes back? Yeah, that'll work. There we go. I found it! That's made me want to play Sonic Adventure 2 again now. I don't know why I said that in Tails' voice. That's Knuckles that says that, isn't it? I found it! That's more like it. Yeah, here we are in the good future. And then we get some laid-back jazz version of the music. And now the palm trees are in some sort of futuristic robot thing. It's kind of got that futuristic wow 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 to the sound. Sonic CD has a lot of that wow wow weird electric guitar riffs. What was that enemy doing there inside the wall? He would have died without me. Uh, I'm not sure what they're meant to be inside those bubbles. Anyone got any idea what they're supposed to be? What? At what point in the future would the world need to be filled with bubbles with things that flash but don't do anything? Are they like some weird AI contraption or something? Maybe this is the future we've got to look forward to. I can't wait to step outside and be accosted by bubbles full of flashing lights that don't do anything. Hey, there you go, now you can see it moving. I don't want to go to the past. Whee! I think we're near the end of the stage now. Although, I want to try and get 50 rings just so I can attempt uh, attempt the bonus level. Ah, I don't like going down there, there's just springs everywhere. Uh, I want to get right on the edge of the pinball flipper to get up to it. Oh, that wasn't fair, I thought I'd landed on that. There's none for me to grab onto. Uh, wait until you get to Wacky Workbench. That level just throws you around all over the place. It's crazy. Okay, there we go. And we're up. Is there anything worthwhile being up here for? There's some random bumpers in no particular layout. And for some reason, there's also a sea and mountains in the sky as well. So I don't know whether the sky is reflecting itself. It's terraforming after Eggman blew up the moon, obviously. Yeah, of course, that makes perfect sense. I have um, a... Oh, I don't think it's here anymore. I have, a, I have a funny sticker relating to Eggman blowing up the moon. If anyone's seen that YouTube video, the weird dub over the Sonic Adventure 2 um, game, I think if you just go on YouTube after this and just type in Sonic Adventure 2 dub, you'll find it. It's hilarious. And they did one for Sonic 06 as well, which is just as crazy. I won't spoil it, but I, um, well, my girlfriend picked me up a set of stickers with quotes on from that. And at first I didn't know what the quotes were from, um, and I found out they were from that video after. And then while we were at a friend's house, we... I think while well, all my friends were here, maybe, we put it on in the background and we were all laughing so much. Oh no, I didn't jump far enough. Has anyone seen that video? Uh, it's really awkward to control these special stages. Oh no, I ran out of rings. Oh yeah, you, you, can, you can use a coin to retry it this time. Which kind of feels like 
cheating because you wouldn't have been able to do that in the original. I'll put a, a limit on myself so I don't abuse that. I'll only retry once. But I feel like I'm already doing a lot better this time. I say that now, watch me mess up. I'm scared about staying in the water too long. Oh, I missed one. No. I think Sonic Mania has some really, really cool special stages. If anyone's played that one, it's got like the 32 bit style uh, Sonic. Kind of like Sonic R, but it actually controls well. Yeah, there we go. So that's the third time stone, I think. Yep. I'm not sure what happens after getting all time stones if I do that first. I don't know whether that means all the generators in the stages will disappear or not. I've never actually tried to do both at once. I always try to do one or the other. But because I want to try and get the good ending, I'm doing both at the same time now. And then, just like the first zone, now we can start the second one in the good future. Which means that there'll be no enemies. And you get the nice, bright, good future colours too. And... Oh, this bit always annoys me. You can get stuck here quite easily. And you've got the weird, creepy Eggman music. This always freaked me out as a kid. His laugh. It's so creepy. And the weird out of tune piano. I do find it funny that this uh, version of pinball in Sonic has better physics than the actual Sonic pinball game. Which is notoriously broken because they programmed it in C instead of assembly. To save time, but it runs really bad. Ah, why can't I get up there? Okay, maybe I take that back about the good physics. I'm stuck. There, there we go. No! Oh, nearly up there. Oh my god, slow down! Okay, okay, go slow, go slow, go slow. Oh, I can't get up. Oh my god, why am I struggling so much? Ah! They hit me back down again. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! Oh my god, I've never... I have never struggled so much on this stage before. Go up! No. Uh. Go up! I'm blaming it on the fact that the physics are a bit different in this version. Compared to the Windows one. Ah, oh, the stupid bombs keep hitting me as well. Oh my god. I'm getting dizzy. Go up! Why are there so many bombs? This is meant to be the good future. I'm meant to be safe. Oh my god, I can't get anywhere. I wish I could see chat right now. I can't see it. Ah! Damn it! Oh my god, I feel like I need to take a break and come back to this. This is ridiculous! <sighs> I take it back, I'd rather be playing Sonic Spinball. Oh my god. I could do this so easy, yeah. I don't know... Why is it so hard? Go up! Go up! Go up! <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Let's try this. That didn't make me go anywhere. <sighs> Concentrating now. Go up! Go up! Go up! Go up! Ha <laughs> ha.
Oh man. I'm not a true gamer. What is going on? The bombs just keep hitting me all the time. And Eggman's laughing at me. Yes! Ah, oh, finally, thank God. Don't laugh at me anymore. Wow. Play Stardew instead. I'd somehow get stuck in a farm or something. <laughs> I did it. Oh my god, I never want to play that stage again. Now for Sonic CD's version of Labyrinth Zone. Except this time it actually is a labyrinth. This one's difficult to time travel in because of how slow you move. I think there's certain sections which sort of carry you across. Which you can use for the time travel here. Ah, no. Let's see if we can go to the left there. There might be somewhere we can use. Oh no, that's actually going back on yourself. I remember that bit. That one just takes you back round again. Oh, I'm still shocked how badly I did at that pinball section. Ah, oh, no. Why would it trick me like that? Why would it put the spring there? Why would you want to go to the future this early in the stage? I swear Sega didn't even know how to play this game properly. That's how that's how confusing it is. And there's another past thing there, but there's no actual chance to go fast enough to use it yet. And apparently jumping on that spring doesn't make you fast enough to use it either. So, and there's another one. This level layout makes no sense. And that makes no sense either. Am I stuck? Um, Oh, that just broke. Oh no. The drowning sound isn't anywhere near as iconic in this one as a Sonic one. Where am I going? I can't remember what the other song sounds like for this. This is the one I've always heard. This is the one I grew up with. Ba ba boo. Oh, I wish I could see where the water was flowing, so you know whether you're going to get pulled back or not. I guess you just have to try and jump into it. I don't know where it's trying to take me. I feel like it's kind of broken. Is it going to take me up? It's just pushing me in here, but there's nowhere to go. Is that switch broken? Am I supposed to be able to go through there? I can't jump. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I'm going the wrong way. Oh, ah! Ah, no. Well, at least I know what to do this time. I need to find another past thing. Past a thing. Uh, no, I don't want that one. Let's go in the wrong way. I think there's one down here then. Yeah, there. See what I mean about the level design being really weird? I know I keep saying that. It's so weird. Uh, so, I know what to do this time. I'm going to get thrown into there first to get those boxes. And then pick up a bubble. And even if you jump a little bit, you get thrown backwards. So, I guess... You've got two options. You can wait for it to go to the top and then dash through. Or you can go through this way as well. And it looks like if you stand on it too long, you get squashed as well. I still haven't found a chance to even use the time travel thing yet. Which is uh, a bit confusing. And I'm dreading trying to find the um, generator on this stage. I don't fancy trying to go backwards through any of this. Okay, don't don't make me hit it. Don't make me hit it. Oh, good. 
Yeah, they've really made this one difficult. Oh, I just missed a checkpoint as well. There it is! Okay, I know where it is. Now I just gotta go fast enough to go back. Ah, oh, perfect. Maybe they did think this level through after all. Womp, 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 womp. Okay, I can come out now. Whee. There we go. Generator destroyed. Now, where's all those hundreds of future signs? Oh, the checkpoint's not there anymore. I don't want to be in the past anymore. But what makes this the past? Like, what is there visually to say that this is the past compared to the present? The fact that the walls are a bit darker? I never really understood that about Sonic CD. I guess it's the past is darker and the future is brighter, unless you go to the bad future. So that's optimistic, I guess. There's a future sign. I doubt we're going to be able to use two. I wonder if I can go back to that section with the springs. I wonder if that works underwater. Let's find out. Yeah, it does. So we can go back here. And then try and find another future one. And I'll try and go back there again. This game is going to be a lot longer than the other Sonic games. Oh, the other bit was underwater anyway. Of course. Ah, that was nasty. No, I don't want to go to the goal. I want to see the future. I suppose I could just go to the goal. But I want to get 50 rings first. There's one. On the wrong side of the wall. I'm presuming you can get to that side in the future. Oh no, am I not gonna be able to get it there? I need a I need a Oh whoa, slow down. Ah No! Come back! Oh god, that was close. I lost the future thing though. I don't think they respawn either. There's one. Not sure what the point of that fan is. It doesn't really take you far enough anywhere. <clears throat> okay. So now we can try and get back. I need to get the rings back as well. We can go back up here and go back to that bit with the springs. And then it's easy to collect the rings as well because all the enemies are dead. So let's go and see what the future of this one looks like. Oh, I had some followers earlier as well. So thanks, Craig UK37. Thanks, Sinra V. Uh, Chow Seto, Roast Potato, and Old School Slim. Thank you, guys. Appreciate that. Hopefully, I'm going to be streaming every single Thursday. That's the plan. So stick around if you want to see more. I'm not sure why the timer kept counting down then. And I just noticed that there's an in invincibility up there, even though there's nothing that can hurt you in the good future. Well, I guess there's still some traps in the stage. And then we've got some kind of like Sonic Adventure style um, guitar solo going. That's cool. So, I need more rings. There's some. Oh no, I didn't mean to go in there. Not many rings. Promises. I'll try and keep my promise. I kept my promise of weekly videos on YouTube for five years. Maybe I'll still be streaming every Thursday in five years' time. You can hold me to that chat. Come back in five years and check up on me. Make sure I'm still streaming. Oh, what's happening there? Oh, that's cool. Unlimited ring supply. I only need 50. I think it heard me. It stopped just as soon as I got 50. Now we can go to the exit. 
I'm actually really enjoying Sonic CD a lot more than I thought I would, because I usually get frustrated at how slow it is compared to the other Sonic games. But it's more methodical. It's more of a... It's almost like a puzzle puzzle game in, in some ways. There we go. Next one. That's probably my favourite like jingle at the end of Sonic levels. I really love that one, it's so catchy. So let's try special stage number three. I love the background in this one. Oh, I have a story about this one actually. So on the PC game, I don't know whether it's the same on the Mega CD or not, but on the PC, there's a screenshot from this level on the back of the box. And I didn't actually get it in 95, I got it in maybe like 2002 or three, something like that. And at that time I'd already played Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, and I really loved both of them. And when my parents picked up Sonic CD for me, I think they, they found it on a boot sale or something and they called me up to see whether I already had it or not. I said I haven't got it and then the first question I asked was, is it a 3D Sonic game? Because I love the 3D Sonic games. And they saw this screenshot on the back of the box and they told me that yes, it's a 3D Sonic game. So when I put it into the computer and found out that it's in fact not a 3D Sonic game, I was actually really disappointed. And then... Obviously, I saw the opening animation and I was so excited to see that and that kind of got me pumped. But yeah, for years I was disappointed that Sonic CD wasn't actually a 3D Sonic game. Which is pretty funny. Considering most Sonic fans are disappointed when Sonic games are 3D. I must be a, uh, a fake fan. But yeah, that's just a funny story about Sonic CD. And this section of the level if I remember right, is another one of those like constantly scrolling sections, like the one in Sonic 1, and like several in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, which we'll probably get to in the next stream next Thursday, if I complete this one, this stream. I'm looking forward to playing Sonic 3 and Knuckles on this collection as well, because apparently um, they've improved some of the collision detection, and I'm also curious to hear Obviously, the remade prototype music as well. So, I'm really looking forward to that. I haven't found any time travel signs yet. Well, I found, I found the future one, but I don't understand why you would choose to go to the future straight away. That doesn't make any sense. There's another future one. There must be one somewhere. I don't want to get too far into the level. Now that looks suspicious. It's not where the generator is though. Oh, it's just where there's some ring boxes. That's not very exciting. Why future? Why? Who wants to go to the future? The future sucks. Okay. There, there it is. And very conveniently placed springs. I don't know why sometimes they put yellow ones there and sometimes they put red ones there. The red ones make you go faster. So... Oh, I knew there would be something there. That would, that would usually be a one-up. But obviously this version of the game doesn't use lives. And... I'm just gonna... wander around a bit now. See if we can find out where the generator is. Again, if anyone spots it, or if anyone spotted it before and I didn't, let me know in the chat. Because you might, you might have noticed things that I haven't. And we got another one up, which doesn't exist. Ugh, no, stay away from that. So, it's not this way. I guess it's kind of good that I didn't already know this game off by heart because I'm actually playing the game the way it's meant to be played, which is just to explore and see whether you can find it anywhere. I would be interested to see a speedrun of Sonic CD. 
I just thought that because obviously GDQ's on now. But I don't know whether they've actually done a Sonic CD one before. I don't remember seeing one. I enjoyed watching Kirby's Tilt and Tumble just before I came on here. I love the fact that they actually pick up the whole GameCube because it's using the Game Boy Player. I think I just got another one up or something. Oh my god, I'm getting loads of rings. Hello, we got seven people watching now. Hello, whoever just joined. And there's Metal Sonic again, this time he's dancing with some fish. Uh, I don't want to go to the end of the level. I was getting worried then that the level was looking a bit sparse, I might be getting towards the end of it. Keep banging my head. There we go. Why is there nothing anywhere? Just ring boxes. Put something more useful there. Like an enemy. Oh my god, another dead end. It looks like it might be around here. Let's try the next layer down. Hmm. It'd be good if they at least gave you some hint as to where it is. Can I, oh, oh, I'm stuck. No, I don't want to go to the future. I feel like I'm really getting too far into the level now. Wow, I've nearly got 200 rings already. And I'm back here again. And no sign of the generator. Let's see what this switch does. It does nothing. Nothing I can see, anyway. What is the point of that? Maybe now it's going to push me somewhere else. No. Future. That's just entirely pointless. Another future one. I don't want to trigger them all either, anyway, else I won't be able to get back. Ah! Oh, that's not fair. I didn't see that coming. I couldn't turn around either. No, I lost my 200 plus rings. Although, that's pretty cool. It sent me right back to the start of the stage, but now in the past version of the stage. What about if the generator was right at the start and the only way to get back to it is to die? That would be... That would be really terrible level design. Although, this level design isn't great anyway. It's just like randomly placed blocks everywhere. No! Oh, I just missed that. I don't want to hit the future switch. There's a lot of things that can crush you in this level too, by the looks of it. I'm so lost. Okay, you can go through the wall. And out the other side. There's some fish. Maybe that means something. Metal Sonic was dancing with some fish. Uh, no. I think I came here in the in the last playthrough. Oh. This level makes no sense. I think I'm back at the start. Yeah, I'm back at back at the start again. And now I have to worry about not going too fast. How does that work? Random level elements, just randomly placed. I'm gonna wait until I can get back up again. Can I even get over there? No, maybe not. I don't think you've got enough time to jump there. just managed to stop that in time. Uh, no, I haven't got enough speed to get up there. I wish at least, like, the rings would guide you in the right direction. Maybe I should have looked up a, a map before I started. I suppose I could look up one, but I don't want to feel like I'm cheating either. 
Uh, for those of you that have just joined and don't understand why I'm going around in circles, it's because the way Sonic CD is designed, you have to go into the past and then track down uh, generators, which um, they send the robots into the future version of the stage. So the idea is that you go into the past and destroy the generator and that stops the robots from appearing in the other version of the level. Although, I have no idea where it is in this one. Now you can see what I meant by it's the Sonic CD version of Labyrinth Zone. There it is! Ah, oh, it was just a bit further on from where I already was. And I've got enough rings to get to the special stage too, so I guess we can just finish the level now. No point trying to travel to the future in that one. Uh, did you know you can drop dash? Yeah, it's the same as in the... Uh, it's a, it basically works the same as Sonic Mania, doesn't it? I keep forgetting I can do it. And it just triggers accidentally when I'm holding right and accidentally pressing down at the same time. I do like the feature, though. It's cool. So, anyway, fourth special stage. Here we go. I'm not off to a good start. But I haven't really lost any rings yet either, so that's good. There's one down. Ah, they're too far away. I wish you could turn sharper in this as well. Okay, okay, come on. I got you. Ah, where am I going? There. Oh no, if you go outside, out of bounds as well, you lose rings really fast. No, I'm not going to do it. Oh, come on. Oh, no, I picked up some rings right right at the wrong time there. Uh, yeah, I chose the US soundtrack because that's the one I grew up with when I had it on the PC. Although I do like both of them. But I have nostalgia for this one, so... Um, that's why I chose the US soundtrack. Which one do you prefer? Ah, oh, no! They're getting away. Ah, oh, no. I think I failed this. What I've said, so that it doesn't feel like I'm cheating, I'm only going to use one continue on these special stages. Ah, you can't turn sharp enough. No. Okay, I give up. You prefer Toot Toot Sonic Warrior over Sonic Boom, though? I like both of them. So, I didn't get the time zone in that stage, but we've still got a chance to get all of them a bit later on. And then we get to go to the good future in, in this zone as well, which looks very similar to the same colour palette that the last zone had. So that's pretty interesting. Again, I love the really bright colours in the good future. And the funky music. And thankfully I don't need to worry about um, finding the generator in this zone either, so we can just play through it as normal. And just keep hitting Eggman if I can catch up to him. I'm dreading getting to Wacky Workbench. That level drives me crazy. I haven't really heard the Japanese soundtrack that much. I think I've only played it once with the Japanese soundtrack. But I've played it with this one loads of times. So this is the one I used to have. I've never actually played it on the Mega CD though, which is weird because obviously that's what it was made for. I've only ever played it on PC and the GameCube. And I tried the Christian Whitehead iOS version at one point. Ah, oh, I don't like this fight. Why doesn't it keep the um, 
the gap in the same place. Or at least you only need to hit him once. I have a mega CD copy. Got it the first month you were at uni. Oh wow, that was lucky to find that. Did you get it from cash converters? I was just talking the other day on the podcast how I bought my Philips CDI off you back at uni. I still have it, and I've got a few more games for it since then as well. I still haven't been crazy enough to track down Zelda's Adventure yet, which is a game I really want to try on there. I did get uh, Wand of Gamelon though. But I haven't got a good controller for it yet though, so I can't really play it properly. I always like the music on this level. But I think in the US soundtrack at least, my favourite stage is probably Stardust Speedway in terms of music. I haven't seen any past or future signs yet. Some of these tracks almost sound like they're like precursors to Sonic Adventure. Hmm. What's going on here? CDI stream. When I finish Sonic. I have got the right cables to hook it up and stream it actually, so maybe I will do one day. And then you can find out that Hotel Mario is actually a pretty fun game. I do actually enjoy that one. That's like the only good thing that came from the Nintendo Philips partnership. Okay, I don't want to go too fast. You know this is a weird Sonic game when you say you don't want to go too fast. Uh, got Night Trap. Cool. I've never properly played Night Trap either. Surprisingly. Where are all the time travel things on this level? I've only found one so far. I wish there would be a way of just cancelling the time thing rather than having to keep it with you. Yay, there it is. And oh, I thought I thought that would be fast enough. If I do it like that, that'll keep the speed up long enough, right? Yeah, that worked. Hotel Mario reminds you of the Crazy Castle games. Yeah, I guess it is, kind of. Wow, this is a very different version of the stage. Oh no, I don't want to do that yet. Maybe in these past levels I'm going back too far because it seems so far like the generators have been... Oh, I didn't even see what Metal Sonic was doing that time. It seems like the generators have been quite far towards the end of the stage. I don't know whether that's right for all the levels or not, but that's kind of what I've found so far. I think this will actually be my first time playing through all of the different past and future versions of the stages too. So I'm quite looking forward to seeing what... Oh, there it is! How am I going to get back up there? I'm really enjoying this actually. This is basically like a new experience for me because usually, like I said earlier, I give up with Sonic CD because of how convoluted it can be. But... I'm glad I'm actually giving it a proper chance now, thanks to thanks to Sonic Origins. How am I going to get up there? It's still, obviously, very convoluted and kind of frustrating to play. But at the same time, the sense of discovery, like finding that generator there, is really rewarding. And now I need to find a, a future sign. I always find them when I don't want them. There must be one. There's one. Or is that... Yeah, it must be a feature. Oh, I've already spun it. Must have spun it accidentally. That's what I meant earlier about 
being really careful to um oh i lost it being really careful not to trigger them else you might lose your chance to get back again damn it i'm back here again Where's it going to take me? What is the point of that? Spins you around in a circle. Ah, uh, well, there's the end of the. Oh no! Ah, uh, I'm trapped and I don't have 50 rings. I didn't realise that was going to take me to the end. That's actually quite a short level. It's just really messy. Dun, dun, dun. Bam, 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 bam. Yay, I made a good future, although I didn't get to see it. But I guess I'll see it at the end of... in Zone 3 anyway. Oh, was that a past or a future sign? I just missed one. No. No, don't want it. <laughs> that was close. I don't think I've ever been this far down this level before. That's weird, seeing a spring on top of it. Okay, that just looks broken though. I've never been this low down in the stage before. Right, is there some way good to use this? Uh, no. Unless I jump over it, maybe. Whoa, that's not fair! I'm sure that was just before it was about to teleport me as well. Oh, and then they put a speed. No, that's not fair! They put a speed thing right next to it. And then all of this really long section that you can run up and down. They knew that people would try and use that red spring there. Sega trolling people. Whee, that's cool. That's not cool. That's not cool. That's cool. Now I can't find any teleport things. Where are they? Up here, maybe? Oh, that's where I just was. That's going to send me back around again. Ah, uh, you can't even destroy them. Uh, okay, let's go up here. Or not. Did I just jump on it wrong? Yeah. Whee! That's pretty cool. I bet that's a time travel point as well. Okay, I found the generator. I need a sign. There might be a sign just past it. Let's try. So, anyone in the chat, do you know Sonic CD off by heart? Do you know where all of the all of the signposts are? Because, like I was saying, I'm pretty much exploring this properly for the first time. I always rush through the stages and never really get to experience them the way that Sega wanted you to. I'm just having a look here. That might be enough of a runway. Let's try it. Oh, okay, maybe not. And then they put a future sign right next to it. And I bet that's the end of the stage coming up to. And I haven't got 30 rings. So I won't go there just yet. I suppose you also need to explore to find out where the best place to to run is in order to keep the speed up. There's a lot to think about in this game. Future. Stop trying to send me to the future! Oh, I don't know what to do now. Is there really only two? Is there really only two past signs? Really? I refuse. I'm going back. As far as it takes. 
Why? Why don't they respawn? That's crazy. There's only two past signs in this whole level. Yeah, there's future ones everywhere. I can't go over there without going too fast. God, some of these level designs are infuriating. It doesn't go anywhere! What's the point of that? Sega, what were you thinking when you invented this game? Why, why is there a spike pit there? No, that's another future one. Maybe I'll just have to give up on this level. It looks like there is only two chances. Oh, oh found one! Mm, no, I don't know where to use it. Anyone watching, do you know a good place where to use this to keep the speed up? Let's see, where does that go? Oh, that takes you to the finish. I'd probably end up using that and going across the finish line. Where does that take you? That doesn't take you anywhere. No, this bit wasn't long enough. So I can't use it there. Maybe here? Yeah, probably here. So let's get to the end here. And, and fall down. If you're on the spring already, then it doesn't count as going fast enough, so... Let's try... Ah! I was going to say, let's try using that drop dash move on this side. Oh no! Really? Really? That didn't count. I don't know how you're supposed to do this one. You're supposed to keep going down, maybe you can do it there. I'm going to restart this stage, because that's not fair. Ah, oh, that's not fair either. Restart. I'm not acknowledging you, Logan. Yeah, that worked. Okay. Now I've just got to stay in the past and get to that tall area. Then I know that I've found that one. Does that count as cheating because I restarted the level? I don't know whether you can do that in the original or not. What? Hey, I didn't lose any rings. That's weird. Sag. That's what you get for being mean all the time. So, where was it? Oh, that's different. That just spits you out halfway down this time. I think the thing was ah, it's spitting me out again. Somewhere at the top. I'm not sure how to get up there though. Jump to the side, maybe? Right there. That works. I think it was at the top anyway. Don't send me back down again. These weird level designs. Yeah, there it is. That's cool, it just sends you straight into it. So now, all I need to do is get 50 rings. And I can... I suppose I can go to the future. There's loads of the future teleporters around here. If I can get to it. No. Oh, there's one. Let's go, future. It's taught me to the future right at the end of the stage, though, so hopefully I don't just run straight into the goal. Oh, not quite. Yeah, to the end of the stage. I need two more rings. Oh, no, now I need 
52 more rings. Why is it trying to teleport me right at the end of the level? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, maybe... Maybe that will work, actually. Let's try. Yeah, it worked! Now we're in the good future, we don't need to worry about any of the enemies hitting us. Ooh, that's different. Let's see where they take us. Oh, okay. That's just where it ends. This is weird. What a weird, weird level. Oh, I forgot. The enemies might all be dead, but there's still hazards. Looks cool, though. Maybe it's not that much easier to get 50 rings in this, in this uh, style of level, as I thought it was. Does that do anything? No, it's just a different design. It looks like, like it had a face. Uh, I don't think there's going to be 50 rings around here. Oh no, I'm trapped now. Well, we got the good future anyway. Just no special stage this time. This game's hard. You really have to take your time with it if you want to actually get the good ending. Yay, zone three. In the good future. Can't remember what the boss is for this one. In the good future, you don't really need to worry about collecting rings or anything. In zone three. You just you just need to get to the boss at the end. There's nothing to find. No. I don't remember what I have to do. Just stay on this treadmill, I guess. Oh, I think he just grinds himself away in this one, which is always funny. I don't understand why he thought this was a good idea. He's literally just killing himself. Why would he not just stand to the side of this? Why would he be in this box? It doesn't make any sense. Come on, someone made sense of Eggman's designs earlier. How can you make sense of this contraption? Look, he's scared of his own machine. Why? What was he thinking? Great idea. Great idea, Eggman. Well done. Such a genius. I wonder what those machines are supposed to be for. Oh no, here we go. Wacky workbench. Be prepared to throw up in a second. Man, this level is such a mess. You just can't tell where you are or what's going on or anything. And if you land on the floor, you've got like two seconds before you get thrown into the air again. And there's just random platforms everywhere. Like, how could you call this level design? There's just random things floating around everywhere with crazy flashing lights and how is this a workbench I just don't understand this one wacky weekend Sonic's wacky weekend Sonic and Connor's wacky weekend is it gonna oh I didn't even I like this music though. But I ruined that 
past sign then. I need to find another one. I don't know whether whether standing on those things that spin round actually lets you travel. It's my favourite level. I've even never even played Sonic CD before. Uh, now I can't get to it. There was one up there, look. That one goes to the future. I don't mind the concept of the level, but it's just messy. Like, how are you supposed to know where, where you're going? Or what's going on? There's nothing there! How is this good level design? I went all the way to the end of that section, and it was just a dead end. There's not even anything to pick up. And there's, like, like, how do I get up here? How do I get back down again? Why? Ah. And then, this bit doesn't go anywhere either. It's just such a mess. Such a mess of a level. I don't know how I'm gonna... And then, oh, that was the other thing that really annoyed me about this stage. You might not be able to, like, avoid, avoid the obstacles. And now I'm just... See, you can just get stuck. Like, if you're not right on the right there. And apparently, bouncing that fast isn't fast enough to trigger... Isn't fast enough to trigger the um, time travel. I'm not sure when you're actually supposed to be able to use it. There you go. Just try and jump as far to the right as you can. And I'm dreading finding the thing on the stage. But there's there's nowhere to use the time travel thing. How are you supposed to use it? Everywhere is just like a small platform with a dead end. Anyone got any ideas? There's nowhere to run. There's speed up shoes, but nowhere to use them. Can't go high enough anyway. Ah. Okay, got them. I can't even just hold right and hope for the best. Now I've re Look! Speed shoes! What? Okay, now I'm going fast enough. And now I'm, now I'm hitting the dead end. Great. Why did that stop it? Why? This is, this is why I always give up with Sonic CD. Oh, I remember now. I remember why I hate this game. Why is that blocked off on the side? Why? How? How did they think this level was fun? Quitter. I'm not. I'm not saying I'll give up now. Saying in, when I play it, usually it doesn't go anywhere. I don't think it went anywhere anyway. Anywhere over there? It literally goes nowhere. What? Why is it there? That's the goal. Oh my god. I might end up having to restart this level as well. I want to watch a Let's Play of Sonic CD and just see what people do when they get to this level because I've never understood what to do on this level. That doesn't take you high enough. 
That doesn't take you high enough. If that's supposed to be the end of the time travel thing, I don't understand how you meant to use it there. Can't use it there either, because that's that's a dead end. And I don't think I don't think there's any other I don't think there's any other things either. There's a future one. That's no good to me. That doesn't even trigger it. Why is that even there? It's just pushing me the wrong way. I don't want to complain all the time, but it's not really giving me much choice at the minute. Hmm. That one's already been triggered. start the level. This is only zone one. Why do I have to endure this? This is worse than Marvel Zone. At least that one doesn't throw you around everywhere. I don't understand where you're actually able to go fast enough to time travel. Okay, there's one. Oh, that's where you to keep going off. Ah, there's one there, but I can't can't get to it. Got it. Now, where can I actually use it? Oh, why doesn't that count as going fast enough? I could have just kept just kept banging my head on it. There isn't even anywhere like with springs in this stage. I really have no idea where I'm supposed to use this now. Oh, this is another pointless section that doesn't go anywhere. Oh my god, I really can't stand this level. I want this over with already. I, I don't know, I just like it so much it kind of puts me off playing the entire game sometimes. Like, what is this level design? Why have you got like one pixel to jump? To jump on it. Is that gonna let me... Really? The one part of the level where you've got enough momentum to use the time travel and it just throws you into an electric fence. Okay, okay, I'm going fast enough. Ah. There's another sign. Hey, I'm doing well. Although I'm really hating this level. Thanks for checking the stream out though. And don't worry, I'll be more upbeat in a minute once I've got past this nightmare. I haven't got any rings now either. There's a ring box. Don't know how I'm going to get back down there though. Okay, okay, go, 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 go. I don't understand how am I meant to use the 
time travel if I can't go fast enough? Why do you keep making me get stuck up here? I don't want to be up here. This is really infuriating. No, <laughs> really? <sighs> I'm really tempted just to look up someone else playing this stage. Yeah, tell you what. I'll do this so you guys can see it as well, so we can see how how you're actually supposed to do this insane level. Let me boot up YouTube. Mod powers, I don't know how to do that. Oh yeah, Mania's amazing. I love Sonic Mania. Maybe I'll stream that after, so... Let's, um... Let's see if I can figure out how to do this. I'm going to add a window capture on here with YouTube on. So we can all see together how the hell you're actually supposed to be able to do Wacky Workbench. There we go. Uh, no, I don't want the music. Sprite animation. I just want to walk through. Robot generator's wacky workbench. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. Is this a guide? It might be. That looks like the normal future. So let's see what they do to be able to get enough speed in order to do this. So, yeah, get the first passed sign. And then uh, use that ramp. Oh. Oh, they made it look so easy. You just have to use the ramp and then spin yourself back round again. Easy. I don't know how to give people mod powers. User actions. Can I do it on here? Mm. No, I'll figure that out later. But yeah, I know what to do now. I better hide that window capture and we can get back to the game. That's such a simple solution. Why didn't I think of doing that? Okay, let's try again. Now I know what I'm doing. We're back in the zone. Back in a good mood now. I could not could not put up with this level any longer. I hope that section two has a really easy solution like that as well. I'm not gonna look up where to find the generator. I still wanna figure that out for myself. Okay. Oh no, I missed it. Come back. I couldn't look it up on YouTube back in the day. That's why I always used to give up because YouTube didn't exist back then. So, super peel out, and then hold down, and then go back this way. Oh, no, 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 it didn't work. Oh, I'm gonna restart again. I love this music though. I think I might like this more than the Japanese one. Sounds like something that should be on Tony Hawk. Is that one? Oh, that's a future one. I suppose I can remember that. So I need to get down the bottom. Stop! I'm gonna land on that gold thing there. And keep going down. If it lets me, don't get turned into an ice cube. So he made it look really easy. Let's see uh, whether I can do that as well. I had trouble in the section in Sonic Mania last night where I couldn't get enough momentum to pass this one area and got frustrated. At least it's not required to... <laughs> ah, I'm getting frustrated. At least it's not required to beat the game by having a mechanic that requires a lot of momentum and then doesn't give you the chance to get that momentum. 
Oh my god, Sonic CD. Seriously. I don't remember getting stuck anywhere in Sonic Mania. What, what level was it? How did he do it so easily? Oh, there we go. Somehow, I'm not going to question it. No, we just need to make sure not to go into the future so we can find the generator. Wherever that is. So yeah, the idea is that you hit the past sign first, and then you go and find the generator that's hidden somewhere in the level. The past actually seems a lot calmer. It still has the electricity thing, so... I was hoping that because it's set in the past that they would have said electricity wasn't invented. Or something like that. I know this game has the drop dash, but you don't really get much of a chance to use it. Hmm. I bet the generator's in one of those um, like blocked off sections that it sends you to sometimes. Oh, that didn't go anywhere anyway, that's where I was trying to get to. Oh, this level is so confusing. I was hoping that the past wouldn't have the bouncy floor either. Okay, that's where the end is. Don't want to go to the end. Well, at least I'll feel really accomplished when I do finish this game now, after the immense frustration that this level's put me through. Electricity's a myth. What's attacking me then? How am I playing this? I'm back here again. Oh, this game makes no sense. No! I don't want to go to the future. The future's bad. Until Sonic fixes it. Oh, I'm back there again. Maybe I don't need to be at the top of the stage. Then. There's so many places where this could be. Like This level's massive. just going to have to hopefully stumble on it at random. Anyone know where it is in this level? Anyone who's watching who's played Sonic CD before? I have no idea where to even start looking. I'm guessing it's somewhere at the top, because that's like the harder parts to stay at. Maybe I'll go back to watch that YouTube video so I can find out where it is. How long do I typically stream for? Well, this is only my second ever stream, so I don't know. Um, I streamed until I'd finished Sonic 2 last time, so I played through Sonic 1 and 2 on the first stream. And that was about three hours, something like that. How long have I been streaming? One hour 42. I'm going to find out where it is, else I'll just be jumping around randomly for ages. No, you don't. So... So from the start... Yeah, go right. Oh, you can't see what I'm looking at. There you go. This random Let's Play that was uploaded in 2010. Let's see where he goes. I'm not going to remember this. Okay. Ignore that machine. Keep going to the right. I'm not sure how we got in there. Let's play it in two times speed. Okay, that's where Metal Sonic is. And then... Actually, I'm going to pause it there. Let's go and find Metal Sonic. 
Oh no, I don't. I don't know where I am in relation to where he was. I'm gonna try and go back. I might have already gone past where I went into the future anyway. Not sure. Ah, uh, uh, okay. So he went through here. And then he went through this bit. And... There was Metal Sonic around here somewhere? Oh no, I forgot. Oh, this was a bit. So he avoided that. Kept going through here. Um, and Metal Sonic was up here somewhere? I was lucky I landed on that. Everywhere looks the same. There he is. Okay, I am going the right way. So that's where Metal Sonic was. And then... I feel naughty doing it this way. Let's go back a bit. There, okay. So that's where I am. And then I need to go up. Use that machine to go up here. Stay at the top. What? No. Seriously? How do they expect you to know to be able to do that? I'm glad I looked it up now. That's ridiculous. Okay. Okay. I can't believe that. That's... I mean... I don't have words. You have to get crushed in order to get to it. Seriously. Okay, well, crush me. There it is. Oh my god. Seriously. Sega. That's, that's not funny. How would you know to do that? And that's the only way that you can even see that it's there. I could have been bouncing around this level for hours. At what other point in this game does getting crushed and not kill you? That's terrible. Anyway, thank God we can finish this level. Do I want to try and get 50 rings? I guess. No. No, I don't want to try and get 50 rings, not in this stage. I just want to leave, leave this nightmare. Oh my god. Anyone who's watching, do you like this level? And be honest with me. Oh, I got some new followers. Thank you to... Uh, I'm going to butcher this. Pet... Peter... Peter is mech. 1712 and to Mick Mank as well thank you so much CD was the classic Sonic game that you played least as a kid I think you watched the Sonic Boom cutscene more than actually playing it on Sonic Gems yeah and me <laughs> Logan stop being a troll I'll cross you in real life if you carry on I'm just laughing at the fact that that is actually the way this level was designed, where you need... <laughs> well, you need to get crushed. Okay. I'll crush you. I'll bring, like, some industrial strength concrete crusher next time I see you. <laughs> I'll hire it especially. Is this your new kink? Sarah can help me. I'm sure that crusher would be very heavy. Is it going to let me... Okay, now this level's been really nice to me. Gives you the pass thing right away and lets you use it straight away as well. So let's see if we can figure out where the hell the generator is for this level. So... I don't know what to call you, Mick... Mick Mank? 
you want to be called Mick? Do you want to be called Mank? Mick Mank? Anyway, I was going to ask, did you actually play much of Sonic CD? Do you understand how the game's structured? Because it is very different to a normal Sonic game. You basically have to travel to the past in order to find the... And the level layouts are just insane as well, if you haven't guessed that already. They were, they were taking something when they came up with these level designs. They were all over the place. But what I was trying to say is the idea of the level is to travel to the past and then find a generator and then destroy the generator. Nick or Mike. Cool. So anyway, yeah, the idea is to travel to the past and find a generator to create a good future for each level. But the levels are just like mazes, they're not like normal Sonic levels. Played the first two levels and it was not your jam. Yeah, I can see why. And yet there's some people that somehow think this is their favourite Sonic game. I do not understand those people. How are you supposed to get up there? I bet it's up there as well. Yeah, I mean, half the game I enjoy, and then half the game, like, like this level, I just can't stand it. It's not only that I can't stand it, I just can't understand how anyone could like this. Please, if anyone's watching who enjoys Sonic CD. How? Am I doing something wrong? I know, Rob, if you're still watching, that you like this game. Is there a way of playing it that makes it less frustrating? I, I, I want to enjoy it, but I just end up either getting lost or not being able to travel to the to the section of the level that I know I need to be in. And then there's just random level design elements that make no sense whatsoever. Like that. It doesn't go anywhere. It's just weird. I want to like it, I really do. It has some nice ideas. And the time travel mechanic is cool when it works. I don't think I'm being unfair on the game. It's, no, I don't want to go to the goal yet. I haven't found it. So, yeah, if you go to the goal and you haven't created the good future, then you've basically missed your chance to do it at all in that stage, and that means that you won't get the good ending if you don't find all the time crystals. And because the levels are so big... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you basically have no idea where to go. Like, that is just a dead end. For some reason. So now I have to try and get back through the level again. And then there can be some areas that just completely block you off like this. So we're going to find another way to get through. Knuckles cave. Oh, no. Now I've blocked myself out of going to the past. And now the only way to get back there at this point in the stage is just to restart the level and try again. Um, Knuckles Chaotix is even more of a nightmare than this game. I just find Knuckles Chaotix just so weird. Did you ever play the, Knuckle, the Sonic Crackers prototype of Knuckles Chaotix? The, um, the prototype ROM was released on the on the Mega Drive. It's actually really cool to see what their original idea was for the game. Obviously, it didn't quite pan out like that, and the 32X isn't very accessible. But I can kind of see why they never ported that game, because it isn't really that fun. It looks nice. I love the graphics, but um, the way it plays is just so weird. I know some people like it, and there's a good speedrunning community. It's fun to watch people who actually understand the physics play it properly. There's a lot of skill involved. But, um... Yeah, in terms of... Just playing the game casually, it's not fun. The rope physics don't really make any sense, and you end up getting stuck too often. 
but at least the levels aren't quite as annoying as any of the ones in Sonic CD. I don't know where this is taking me. Yay, I found it! Completely by accident. Thank God for that. Now I can just get to the end of the stage. So that's what the generator looks like. And they actually put that one right back at the start of the level, which is unusual. Oh, I feel so relieved now. That is basically wacky workbench over. Now I can move on with the game. Let's try and get to the future. We can use that there, and if we get another one, we can go back there again. Heard about that from a Some Call Me Johnny video. Yeah, I I don't think I've seen his uh, Sonic Chaot Knuckles Chaotix video. I really enjoy his Sonic videos though, they're always really fun to watch. He's, um, he's really good at writing scripts, I think. They're always really entertaining. I love his videos. I love that he went back and revisited um, his older videos too. I used to watch him all the time, so it was fun when he made the, the remakes of his older videos. Very nostalgic. Right, hopefully we can just stay in here and get to the good future. Yay, there we go. That's a good question for people in the chat, talking about um, some call me Johnny there. What are your, what are some of your favourite gaming YouTubers? I used to watch like retro gaming YouTubers so, so much back in college. A lot of them don't do YouTube anymore, so in some ways I feel like I'm kind of carrying the flag for some of them that dropped out over the years. But it'd be interesting to know some people that you guys watch in terms of retro gaming YouTubers. I'm always looking for new people to watch as well. There's a weird lack of rings here. I want to try and get 50 before I finish the stage. There's some. And the good thing about the good future is you don't need to worry about enemies because it kills all the enemies. You just need to worry about the electric in this level because that doesn't turn off. There's another ring box, 37, getting there. I'm a bit worried that I'm not going to be able to go back far enough though. Let's see. Whoa, double figure of eight. I don't want to use that. I'm kind of scared of going back in there now in case it triggers it. Oh, that was lucky. I think I just stopped it in time. Not sure how you meant to how you meant to get over there. Maybe you can't. I don't think I can go... I don't think I can go fast enough to get up there. Again, weird level design. Why design a part of the stage like that? It doesn't make any sense. I've only got 38 rings, and I don't think there's another way of getting back over, so maybe I just won't be able to access the special stage. Again. No. That's just going to take me back down there, unfortunately. So maybe I won't be able to get the good ending, because that's the end of that level. Anyway, moving on. I'm so glad to be able to get out of this zone. Now we can basically just speed run through this level because you don't need to worry about going any particular way here for once. Although it's still kind of maze-like. Just not as bad, because you don't need to worry about finding the time travel bits in Zone 3. Not sure where that's trying to take me though. This way, maybe. I'll be annoyed if I get 50 rings now. 
Uh, where am I? There's loads of rings up there. Why couldn't there be a section like that in the last act? I'm, I'm gonna get 50, aren't I? Uh, maybe not. Here's the boss. Can't remember what you have to do with this boss. I remember his design, though. It's a very iconic design. Oh, yeah, I remember now. So the floor gets electrocuted, and then um, you sort of have to jump in the air to go from one to the other. And it gets progressively harder as you're going up the level. So the one you're standing on doesn't go as high as any of the other ones. It doesn't seem like you can hit him either. I don't remember what you're actually supposed to do to um, cause damage there. Oh, not that. Okay, so when you get to the top, when you get to the top there, you just have to stay on the one on the right. That's not fair. It doesn't give you any warning that you're about to be crushed there. And last time I was crushed, it took me to a, took me to the part of the level I wanted to be at. How was I to know it wouldn't take me to a secret area? Huh? Explain that, Sega. Your crazy, non-logical level designs. Feels like Sega of Japan just gave a kid a random level generator and said go wild in this in this stage. Oh, you watch Rouse Potato. I love Rouse Potato. He has some of the best D&D streams. I think someone actually wrote a serious... Ah, no! I can't look at the chat and play at the same time. Do you watch a Happy Console Gamer? I always watch Happy Console Gamer. He is genuinely one of my favourite YouTubers. I actually asked him to collab a while ago, but unfortunately he was he was busy because he'd just had a kid, so he had to turn me down. But maybe in the future we can do something. I know he's watched a few of my videos. He's commented on a few of them. Which I'm always amazed at. Is that it? The bosses in this game are so weird. They just take one hit. I guess they're more like puzzles than bosses. Nick grew up watching him. Yep. Sarah's seen a lot of happy console gamer in this house. Dun, 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 dun. You like Eggman's jig. Oh, I love this level. Like, even though it's still a mess of a level, I just love the aesthetic of it. And hopefully, it's got some good areas for me to be able to do the um, time travel as well. Ah, oh, that could have worked. Is that a past time? Shall I go back that way? There's a new Happy Console Gamer video actually that I haven't watched yet. It's top 10 PS2 games, I think it is. Ah, oh, really? I might restart this level. Two times now, it stopped me just before. Let's see if I can figure out where's a good place to use it. That would be a good place, maybe. Let's try that. Uh, I might still be in with a chance of getting the good ending for this game. I think I'm... No, wrong one. Stop! I don't know why it tries to get you to go to the future when there's no point going there. No point going there yet, anyway. Where am I going? Where, where is it taking me? I just want to pick up that sign there. So, maybe it's better to go this way then. Yay, there we go. Now I'm going the right way. 
Oh god, this one's gonna be a nightmare to find the thing in though. This is completely different in the past. Usually there's slight differences. This doesn't even resemble the, the way the stage looked. Now it's all like a jungle theme. I always feel like the generators are going to be near the top of the level. I'm not sure why. And then I feel like I'm just going to drop down and just stumble into hitting it. Uh, I remember them things from the ending cutscene. If we get to the end of the game in this stream, you'll be able to see how cool that looks. It just looks amazing. I really did love the animated cutscenes in this. Whoa, where is it taking me again? Is that it? Oh no, it's not. I thought that was the generator then. <laughs> these, these levels are just crazy. It really does just feel like someone just went crazy using the level generator. I think I've gone back on myself. Yeah, I've gone back to the start of the stage. Yeah, he always has really cool stories. I love his videos when he gets Rob Man on there as well. And every single Christmas, I go back and watch all of his previous Christmas videos. They're some of my favorites. Hmm. Oh. Why is that platform so slow? Everything else is really fast. I feel like I'm supposed to go up there. Great, I had the shield for like a second. Okay, it doesn't go anywhere. Yo, reanimators in the chat. Hello. Thanks for checking the stream out. I don't know where I'm supposed to go again. I'm going to try and stick to the top of the stage, see whether I can find it. And then if I can't find it, then I'll try and go down and check lower down the level. And then if I still can't find it, I'll go back to looking on YouTube, like I did in the last level. Let's see if I can get to that spring over there. Yeah, woo. Uh, I'm scared of just letting the game play itself because I don't know where I'm going to end up. Right, that is the finish. I don't want to go there yet. I feel like even if I was to look up where it is on YouTube, because this level is so all over the place, I would still have no idea where I'm looking. I think that's going to take me back to the end of the level. Let's try going this way. Uh, okay, that just dropped me down in, in the middle of nowhere. Mm, no, I feel like I'm going too fast on the bottom of the stage. Let's try going down here. There it is! Yay, found it! Inside a loop. So now... I feel I'm quite confident about this. I'm going to try and get 50 rings in this level, and then we can try the special stage again at least. I think there were some rings that way. And let's try and get to the good future now we've unlocked it. And the game's being kind to me. Yay! Okay, we're halfway there. Where he gets real. Seems like a very respectable and wise dude. Yeah, absolutely. The amount that I watched him in college and uni it almost feels like he's he's brought me up in a way. It's so good that he's still doing YouTube. I actually found him right from his first video, I think, which was the Fantasy Star one, because I was really big into, into YouTube even back then. So I've literally watched every single one of his uploads since the day he started. And I used to be really into the whole, um, what do they call themselves? That podcast they did together. Um, all Gen Gamers. I used to be really into the whole All Gen Gamers crew. So there was GameStar81, uh, Metal Jesus Rocks, um, Happy Console Gamer, obviously. Just 
Oh, why have I gone back again? At least I saw a little bit of it. Yeah. I, I listened to every single episode of the All Gen Gamers podcast while I was at uni. I was so sad when they stopped. Yeah, I was a huge simp for all of them. <laughs> I don't want to go to the past again. Now it's crazy to think that some of them actually watch my channel. And one thing that I've always thought with YouTube doing my videos is that I want someone to enjoy them as much as I enjoyed watching their videos back in college and back at uni. I don't know if that's a weird thing to want, but, you know, I felt like I really enjoyed their videos so much. And if, if I get that enjoyment from someone else from my videos, then that's all I could ask for, really. That's kind of why I wanted to start my own podcast and stuff as well, because of how much I've enjoyed listening to podcasts over the years. What am I supposed to do here? That didn't make any sense. Yeah, Metal Jesus Rocks is awesome. He basically... Well, people say that he affects the game prices because of his Hidden Gems videos, but I don't know whether that's true or not. Yeah, what, I love all the guest videos that he does as well, like when he brings on John Blue Riggs, who, um, who I'm actually kind of friends with now, and we chat on Twitter and DM sometimes, which is really cool. And um, yeah, I love, I love all the videos he does with Kelsey as well. They're really interesting. That was how I found out about some of the Neo Geo stuff back in the day. And all the really interesting things. Oh, I need to pay attention. I'm going the wrong way. I need to go into the past. Oh no! Oh, that was close. I almost went to the future then. Um, yeah, I was saying, I love the videos where he brings the guests on to talk about their personal collections. Um, I, I was watching some recently, some older ones that he did with Rad Radical Reggie. They're always really cool. He has an amazing collection. And just so much knowledge about all different systems as well. It's just really fun to watch someone who really knows what they're talking about. And it's kind of a good overview on the systems too. So a lot of the games that I want to collect, I've kind of found out thanks to the videos that he does with his collaborators. I don't know where I'm supposed to go now. I'm looking for a past sign somewhere. <clears throat> Does anyone else in the chat watch Metal Jesus Rocks? Or any of the MJR crew? Obviously, they were, most of them have their own channels too. Oh, I used to love watching Pete Dorr as well, talking about some of the older YouTubers. I'm so sad that he left it to go to Twitch instead. His videos were so relaxing to watch. He's basically the reason why I still do all my pickups videos, because I used to love watching his so much back in the day. I'm glad that some YouTubers, at least, from back then, are still doing it. And have, and have actually done really well for themselves. Like, Ant Dude, back when he was Sonic Dude 101. I used to watch all his early videos. And now, of course, with Ant Dude, he's really... Oh, what am I doing? I've already... I'm not paying attention. I've already done it. Why did no one stop me? Damn, I thought I was on the next act. Next act. I just need to get to the end of the stage. I came back to get 50 rings. Which I've got. Oh, no! As soon as I said I got them.
Wait, have I got it? Is this the past? I'm confused what time zone I'm in now. I'm so confused. Where's the end of this level? I swear I got to the end by accident and now I can't find it. Uh, no. Honestly, YouTube shorts. I feel like they would just mess my whole channel up. I hate the way that they include them as part of the regular videos if you go on the videos tab. I really hate it. I just like making long videos, so I really don't want to... I know it's good for the algorithm and it's good to be able to get yourself seen more and stuff, but I really... I just don't like them. I know, I should get with the times and try and make some short content. But it just feels like it's the opposite of everything that I want to do. I really enjoy like putting loads of time and effort into producing these longer videos. And then it's kind of disheartening to see people make a short that just takes off and gets them millions of views. And I'm, I was really upset when YouTube said that that was the direction they wanted to take. Because I've enjoyed watching YouTube for so many years. And the reason I enjoyed it over anything else is because, you know, you could watch a video that was like 10, 15 minutes long and really get a lot of information in one video. And then they're wanting to try and reduce it to like a minute or less. I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. I feel like that should have stayed on TikTok or stayed on Snapchat or wherever it came from in the first place, but no, it even seems like, it even seems like, um, like Instagram and everyone's trying to go in the same direction now, which is really sad. Mm. Yeah, and I feel like, like you're saying, it's important to make stuff you enjoy. Stop being a boomer. Well, maybe I just want boomers to watch my videos. But I really enjoy longer content. Like, I'd listened to a four hour podcast today, and I didn't think it was long enough. So I'm happy if it's an interesting topic to just watch or listen to things for hours on end. But I always feel like I've been quite patient or. I guess um, I can concentrate for a long period of time on one thing and not get bored of it. But there's room for both. I hope long form content isn't going anywhere. Oh my god, I'm doing really badly on this. This is such an iconic part of the game as well. I'm confused now. I don't know whether I actually got the good future or not. I'm not really paying attention anymore. Whoa, I've never been up there before. I did that three times in a row then. Oh no! Oh, I messed up there. Is this the good future? I'm so confused. Someone tell me if I did that level right or not. I might have to watch this back and actually see. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Creepy laugh again. They were really showing off with the CD sound effects. Why? Oh my god. I want to try and get up the top again though, that was cool. That's not fair. I think it doesn't really matter how fast you go on this section as long as you don't get hit by the laser at the back. The only time you need to worry about being faster than him is right at the end. I don't think I've found that top path this time. The spin dash is a lot better in this version. 
I remember the spin dash being really awkward to use on the uh, on the PC version. Because the, the way you charged it up in the original Sonic CD was, was different. Okay, I think we're there. Yes, I did it. That was better. My thumb was hurting. It ended up Nintendo thumb. You can't see it over my face. Oh, free Amy. Yay! No, you spin dash her to death. Like how you kill Metal Sonic at the end of Sonic 2. I have had people tell me I should try and do TikTok, and I do have an account on there, but I just... Maybe I'm too much of a boomer. I just don't understand the appeal. Oh no, I remember this level being confusing as well. There's like shrink rays in this level, and there's some bits you can get to as regular Sonic, and there's some bits you can only get to as, as like tiny Sonic, which is really weird. Oh, I don't want to go into the future. Again, this level is really hard to find sections where you can actually be on your speed up enough to actually do the time travel that you need in order to finish the game. Um, why is there another future one? There should be a past one somewhere. Eventually they spin around and let you through. Oh, there's nothing down that one anyway. After playing Sonic 2 and then coming to this one, it's kind of jarring to have to play it so slowly. They were definitely going after very different... Ah! Damn it. Oh, that's, that's good. What new features have they brought out on Twitch? Again, I pretty much only use YouTube, so I don't really know that much about how Twitch works. So if anyone's got any tips for me, please let me know. I would love to try and get better at it. Maybe playing a better game is a good start. Not that Sonic CD is a bad game, but maybe it's not the most fun to watch on... Uh, is that going to let me do the time travel? Really? That's not fast enough? Why have it there? Where am I going to be able to use this? Well, yeah, please let me know if there's anything I can do to improve uh, my my streams. I know I want to try and get a nice um, overlay or some nice transitions for whenever I want to show the PC screen or if I ever want to just do a full cam section. I want something nice to be able to transition between them. But in terms of actually using Twitch or the best way to get discovered on there, I have no idea at all. So, yeah, please let me know if anyone knows, if anyone has any ideas on what I can do. Like, um, how often should I stream as well, things like that. Um, oh no, I messed, I messed up the, the past sign. Yeah, like, how often shall I stream? Uh, what are some good games to play? Oh no, I'm really messing up on this level now. Any other tips? Oh. I thought that was going to catapult me, it didn't do anything. I don't know whether there's actually any other past signs now. Might need to restart. Before, when you search, what are you hinting at? I can I can barely see the, barely see the chat on there. Hot tub stream, yes, great idea. I'll wait until I've got monetized for that. Obviously, you can join me in the hot tub if you want. I knew my parents just bought a hot tub for a good reason. 
Oh. Oh, at least it didn't cancel it. Right, where can I use this? I've got to find a really good section of the level to be able to use this now. And I have to be really careful not to not to lose it either. <laughs> okay, I lost it. Let's start again. Uh, at least it lets you restart the level. This is grueling playing this properly. Okay, got it. No. How the hell can I go fast in this level? Maybe here, if I run fast enough? Maybe? Let's try it. Oh. Okay, that didn't work. There's another past sign there. Okay. I'll try and remember that. Oh, there's springs! Yay! Just have to kill him first. Here we go. Now we can travel to the past. Oh, that's interesting. I never thought about playing Jackbox with with people on stream. That'd be fun. We played Jackbox the other day at a friend's house. Yeah, I guess that makes sense, because people can just use their phones to play it. I know I want to do um, I want to do some Trackmania streams, because I was really enjoying playing that before. That'll be a good excuse to load it back up again. Um, but the main idea with Twitch, at least originally the idea was um, to stream the games that I'll be recording footage for for YouTube for my videos, because that'll still be the priority is still the videos, and hopefully once I get this new job that I'm starting in a few weeks time and once the house is finished I'll be back to doing videos once a week again and then hopefully um I can have the videos edited by... How did that kill me? That was going down. I'll, I can have the videos edited by Thursday, and then I can come here on stream and chat with you guys. Um, we can chat about the video from the past week. We can play some games together, like Jackbox. That'd be fun. Um... And yeah, I think it'll be a really good mix of videos and live streams then as well. And then of course I can upload the live streams onto the second channel for people who didn't manage to catch them live too, so that'll be really cool. Maybe I can set up a, a, Discord, a Discord Jackbox game at some point. That'd be fun to get everyone involved from there as well. Let me know if you'd be up for that. And if there's anything else that we could we could all play together. Maybe we could do some like Mario Kart tournaments or something on stream. Or Smash maybe. Right, I don't know where I'm supposed to go now. Again, I'll try looking up first and then come back to the um, lower level. Up there, maybe? Oh, really? It's a trap. I'm scared of going back too far. Although I don't want to hit that future sign. <clears throat> oh, that was a scary section. Am I going the right way? Am I not? There's no way of telling. Oh my god, this is a dangerous section. Uh, maybe I'll end up looking up a YouTube video on how to find it again. Because there's nothing here. And I'm right back at the start of the level now. Let's try going through it this way. Among Us? Maybe? 
I don't really enjoy it that much. So. And I want to try and at least do mostly retro things. There still. I just thought I can't actually look up this level on YouTube because I forgot what it's called. Maybe it's down there. What a confusing level. Ah! That's no, not a path. So lost again. I feel like that's all I've said all night. Oh my god, I found it! There it is. That's very well hidden. This whole section I would have not noticed if I didn't let that spring push me down then. Okay, uh, let me back up. Ah, uh, really? That's some horrible placement. This is the first time I've tried to play Sonic CD properly all the way through. And to be honest, I'm really struggling. Not because it's hard, just because the level designs are so weird. Yay! Oh, again, I didn't get enough rings for the special stage. Ah, thank God. That's one more down. Quick bake titles. I don't know, it feels a bit disingenuous, though. I always see all the streamers that I follow, all their titles are just like, hey, get in here, you, or let's be friends, or something like that. I guess just because they just keep the same name for everything. Maybe I'm too old school, I don't like clickbait. Maybe that's why my channel's taken so long to grow, because I don't use clickbait. Although, saying that, I have a few times, and it does do a lot better, which is very upsetting. Like, it does considerably better, like, without it, it would have got like a thousand views, and with it, it's got like 20,000. But unfortunately, that's just how the algorithms work. Or that's how people work, like it or not. Oh, this is the level with the weird um, laser beams that make you tiny for some reason. And there's things that you can stand on to go into the background in those sections too, which is weird. And now you can go behind them. With this really weird effect which hurts your eyes a bit. Where am I going? I haven't seen a single... Uh, oh, there's one. Just as I said that. And there's somewhere to use it. Yay. No. Left or right? Let's keep going left. I think the way I found it last time. Oh, I can't go left. Whoa, they're stronger in the past. Let's go back down here. I feel like it would. It was just on this. Oh my god, this level is massive. I have no idea where to even start looking for it in this one. I don't want to go that way. I feel like I'm going to get crushed. <gasps> no way! That was lucky. I found it straight away. Oh my god. The game's had to be on my side for once. Woo! I can't believe that. Ah, <gasps> oh, I just didn't get that then. I can't believe I found it. That easily. Ah, oh, maybe I don't hate this game after all. 
Whoa, I didn't know what was going on there. I think I broke through a wall, but I didn't realise. Hey, it gave me a chance to use the drop dash. There's literally nothing here. That, section, that whole section is just padding. Let's go. Good future. Hey, and I've got over 50 rings. Let's see whether I can actually keep it this time. <gasps> no, that's a trick. Hey, I managed to get there. Yay. Your thumbnails are really solid, I guess. Thumbnails are almost like how you package. Yeah, I've definitely tried to improve my thumbnails. They're a lot more colourful than they used to be. And although it's counter to what people say, having my face in the thumbnail actually seemed to make the video perform worse. I don't know whether that says more about me than the than the idea of having a face in a thumbnail, but yeah, I was really surprised that actually focusing on what the video is about rather than trying to show off. Yeah, like wrapping up a Christmas gift. That's a good way of thinking about it. I'm glad you think my thumbnails are good. I, I have been putting a lot more effort into them recently. I kind of want to go back and tidy up some of my older ones as well, see whether that will bring some more people in. Let's see. Can I just keep running to the end of this section? No. Hmm. Oh well, I got the good future anyway, so technically I can just get to the end of the level now and finish this stage. I've definitely got more than enough rings. Don't know when you're supposed to use that future one then. Whee! I forgot you can do that. I don't want to go into the past again, I've already been there. I remembered I've already been there this time. Oh. oh no, this is giving me flashbacks to that pinball stage I did earlier. I don't know why the springs don't trigger the the um, time travel. I feel like they should do. Uh, can I use it here? No, of course not. There's one of the laser beams that shrinks you. See if we can get to that somewhere. Ooh, can I use it on there? Maybe. If I'm going fast enough. Yeah! No? Yeah? Yeah, you can. Okay, let's see what the good future looks like. I don't think I've ever seen the good future for this level, actually, so this will be interesting to see. Whoa! I like it. And the music's really quiet for some reason. Oh, now I lost my 50 rings. Oh yeah, here's another new element for this level. This weird walker thing. Yeah, I really like the aesthetic of this one in the future. Kind of reminds me, in a weird way, of Cutman's stage from Mega Man 1. Like, the way the buildings look in the background. I always thought they looked really cool in that game. That's what I want the future to look like, all buildings to be round and bubbly with windows in the roof. Kind of like... Tokyo TV's building in, in Japan. I love that building. It looks so futuristic, even though it's kind of old these days. I got loads of pictures of it when we went to Japan last. So I just have to... Ah, I didn't expect to see sheep up here. I don't understand why it wants you to be small Sonic. Like, it makes no difference to anything. It just turns him into a bobblehead version for some reason. Oh, have I gone round in a circle? I think I've gone round in a circle. Yeah, I always thought this was so strange. Why is there just a really small Sonic. What was Eggman trying to achieve by putting a shrink ray in in a city like this and then not having anything 
small enough to use the shrink ray for. This section doesn't make any sense. You go there just to come out again. What's the point of the invincibility? And now I'm back to normal. There was no reason to be small there whatsoever. And then there's another one to make you big. Even though you have to have been big to get there in the first place. And of course there's a spike trap. Oh, I remember this stage. This bit's like Tetris. Well, in a weird way, it's a bit like Tetris. I wasn't expecting this to uh, to be here in the in the good future. Right, the finish is over there, but let's try and get some more rings. It's really difficult to keep 50 rings uh, in these later stages. That doesn't go anywhere either. There's so many weird dead ends in this game. Like, half the levels are just made up of dead ends. And spikes ready to catch you out. Oh, I'm back here again. Uh, maybe I'll give up trying to do the special stages. I don't really want to traipse through the level trying to find 50 rings. I've got the good future. I just want this over with now. Now I have to go through this section again. I kind of regret trying to play Sonic CD properly now. I'm back here again. So I need to remember to go left down here. Sure, I'm a quitter. I can't handle Sonic CD anymore. Let me play Sonic 3 and Knuckles already. That's going to be next week's stream. I don't think there's many levels left. Hopefully I can stay up tonight and finish it. I haven't got work tomorrow, so I don't need to worry about that. Okay, let's go. With zero rings. There's the end of the stage. <clears throat> so, let's see how many levels left. This is called Metallic Madness. Oh, it is the last one. Okay, we are right at the end of the game. <clears throat> and I think, if I remember right, I think we've got good futures for every level. So, if we get the... Um, if we manage to defeat the final boss here, then we will, in fact, get the good future. The good ending. Even though I didn't get all the time, so time stones. Because you don't need to do both, thankfully. You need to do one or the other. Whee! Oh, that's scary. I don't want to stay there. Do you need to bounce all the way across these? Oh, no. Really? Really? They made that a bottomless pit. You can't see coming. Even Super Donuts has better level design than this. Does anyone know what Super Donuts is? It's a game that doesn't exist anymore. Ah, go! I'm scared. Why is this a bottomless pit? Ah, I'm going for it! No! <laughs> you really don't have much time to get through there. I still don't really know what these coins do that you can find. They just let you buy things in the museum, I think. 
Have I managed to skip this section? No. Where, where are you taking me? Okay, go. Ah, yes, I'm through. No, you have to go into the background here to avoid those spike traps. Oh yeah, I remember this bit. This is another bit that shows up in the um, in the cartoon at the end. You don't get much time to be able to hit them. And I really can't remember how to do this boss. Am I meant to get... Oh no, this one. I wonder if every level has a secret crushing area. Oh god, what do I do? I remember he extends them at some point and that's how you can get your hit in. I can't remember if he does it diagonally or straight down. God, this boss music is so creepy. Maybe that was my chance to attack then. Oh no, really? That's too high up? I think I missed my chance. Or maybe I can do it there as well. Go! Yes. Okay, now he's lost one of his arms. <clears throat> this is a pretty easy fight then, I guess. At least compared to the one in Sonic 2. Oh, you're not going to come this way? Okay then. I wonder if I can hit him in the air then. Yeah. No, now I can't. He's too high up now. Okay, platforms. No, nope. I thought they were going to be platforms. One left. This is a weirdly easy fight, considering how far into the game it is. This can't be the final boss. I can't actually remember what the final boss is. Whoa, okay. Pogo stick attack. <clears throat> Is that the final boss? Maybe. Yeah, here's the ending cutscene that I was on about. So you get to see some of the different enemies that we fought throughout the game. Now I'm confused whether I did get the good ending or not. I can't tell. Maybe there's an extra bit after this. Now you get a cool remix of Sonic Boom. The version of this on the Sega CD or the Mega CD is so compressed, it's really bad. So it's great that they've managed to upscale it for this. And apparently if you play it on the PlayStation or the PC, it's actually even smoother. Because there were some weird scaling issues with the Switch version. Those credits are scrolling weirdly smoothly as well. Compared to the cutscene. It's a shame they made it small because I love this video. It's like how you how you imagine the levels to look in your head as a kid. It's so dynamic as well. Like I want to play a Sonic game where you actually get to attack the enemies like this. Maybe that's what Frontiers will be. I'm not sure. There's those light bug things. I didn't look that cool when I was fighting them. And there's the really cool Metal Sonic fight. Look how cool that looks. They did a great job with these animations. Is that it? Maybe they didn't expect the credits to be this long when they did that video. You'd think they would loop it at least. Now we just got to watch the names. Yeah, the quality is amazing. They've, they've actually upscaled it compared to the original. And I presume you can watch it in Origins as well as part of the bonus features. So that's, that's a nice addition as well. 
And they did really nice cartoon animation in between all of the games as well for this collection. So if you play Sonic 1 or Sonic 2, you actually get a little video that ties the games together as you're playing through them, which is really nice. But they didn't do new ones for Sonic CD, they just used the ones that already exist. But they did one linking Sonic CD into Sonic 2, when you start Sonic 2, and that was really nice to see. Oh, where's Big the Cat? Don't worry, Big the Cat's coming back in Frontiers, apparently. He's going to teach you how to go fishing. Should I do a Big the Cat only stream of Sonic Adventure 1? That would get more than 8 viewers. Huh. Now weirdly this cutscene, you've kind of got the VHS artifacts there. Try again. Did I miss one? I must have missed one. I thought I got all the good futures. Ah, oh, here we go. This is a new cutscene. So this is tying it into one of the other games. This is tying it into Sonic 3, maybe. I love the animation in these, it's really nice. I don't get the relevance of Amy playing with those tarot cards, are they? Yeah, and they're the, other, they're the other options you get in Origins as well. And you can also... Um, is it Plus, maybe? Yeah, Island Tour. So you can actually see islands based on the, the games as well. And if you zoom in, there's like Easter eggs of the different zones. Or at least there was for Sonic 1. A lot of this just looks like all the enemies just on a random island. There isn't anything that really screams Sonic CD, apart from that, obviously. But yeah, it's a nice nice little extra. Anyway, I'm going to end the stream there. Thank you so much for watching me play all the way through Sonic CD, even though I didn't get the good ending somehow. I thought I did, but I must have missed one, so I'll probably go back and do that off stream, like how I went through Sonic 2 and got all of the emeralds the other night. So I really enjoyed it. So thank you all for coming along. Really hope you enjoyed watching, even though I got really frustrated. And join me next Thursday when we'll be playing through Sonic 3 and Knuckles. All right, take it easy, everyone. Now we've got to switch the screen background so I can turn the stream off. All right, bye, everyone.